Good afternoon and welcome to the 145th commencement service of Ames High School. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. Before the national anthem, I would like to invite any Ames High graduating seniors who are planning to enlist in the military or to go to a military academy to please come forward and be recognized. The national anthem will be sung by Leakin Garten. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you, Lincoln. You may now be seated. As the acting principal of Ames High School, it is my honor to stand before you today on this momentous occasion. To the graduating class of 2023, congratulations on reaching this milestone in your lives. Today marks the end of your high school journey and the beginning of a new chapter. Graduation is a time to celebrate your achievements, reflect on your growth, and look ahead with optimism and excitement. Today is also a celebration for the people that have helped you along the way. I would like to recognize one group in particular. Please join me in a round of applause for the wonderful faculty and staff of Ames High School. These teachers and staff have helped mold, shape, and inspire you to unlock your potential both in the classroom and beyond. I'd also like to give a special tank thanks to my administrative team. I was not planning on giving this graduation speech, but when we had a resignation and then stepping in as an acting principal, I knew those were gonna be big shoes to fill, and I just wanna thank Nicole Patton, Anthony Yar, and Lyle Fetters for all their hard work this spring semester. Class of 2023, what a journey it has been to this point. All the metaphors, platitudes, and comparisons fall short of representing the amazing journey you have been on. From a global pandemic as freshmen to social distancing and quarantine as sophomores, your high school career started under unsuspected circumstances and challenges. If all these changes weren't enough, you've had five different head principals from the start of your high school experience to today. We throw in some trash can fires, TikTok challenges, closing one school and opening another, you've had one of the most unique and challenging high school experiences. But through all of that, you have continued to amaze through personal resilience, group success, and most importantly, your kindness and compassion. This graduating class, like others, has had immense academic and athletic success. You've earned prestigious honors in music, art, and drama. The accolades this group has acquired would take hours to recognize, but the thing that sets you apart from other classes is your kindness to one another, 
our staff, and our community. Your desire for inclusivity, your resilience in the face of adversity, and thirst for knowledge and experiences will serve you well as you turn the pages on this chapter in your life. As the chapter turns, I want to recognize that you have left Ames High School and the Ames community a better place. You have set the standard of what it means to pursue excellence in all aspects of your life. As you venture into the next phases of your journey, we thank you for your contribution you have made to the Ames High Legacy. <laughs> Momentous occasions like this often help us contemplate meaning and purpose. Recognizing that we have limited time to extract those things helps us prioritize what is important to us. Life is about what makes you happy. I encourage you to relentlessly pursue the things that make you happy. I implore you to surround yourself with people that make you happy. When the word happiness comes to mind, images of major life events, like high school graduation, your favorite concert, getting married or having kids, or a once in a lifetime vacation might be the first thing you think of. While these big moments of happiness are critical, they are usually few and far between. They just don't happen that often. The type of happiness that I'm talking about pursuing occurs in the mundane. It occurs in the routine. Happiness occurs in the moments that you take for granted. The truth is that adult life can often be routine and full of tedious and arduous tasks. Your challenge is to be present and focused enough in those moments to find the miracle that is your daily existence. To find moments between the to-do lists, the never-ending tasks, and the activities that you find yourself consumed by and truly enjoy yourself in meaningful and small ways. My challenge to you while you are still young and just naive enough is to try everything. Explore as much as possible and find what makes you truly happy. It has been a true honor watching you grow into the amazing group that you are. I wish you all the best of luck moving forward and we look forward to the amazing accomplishments of the class of 2023. We will now have a musical performance by the Ames High School Choir under the direction of Joe Strong and Sonia Johnson. They'll be performing the song, The Road Home by Stephen Pallas.
Thank you, Director Strong and the Ames High Choir. I would now like to welcome Dr. Julius Lawson, Ames Community School District Superintendent, to the stage to introduce our graduation speakers. Thank you and good afternoon. I have the proud honor of introducing our student speakers for this afternoon. Our first speaker, Angelina Chen, supported by parents Lili Yang and Ann Chen. Angelina was involved in a number of activities while in high school, including debate, mock trial, tennis, chef, which is students helping in poverty and hunger, and violin. She is a four-year All-State Orchestra violinist, National Merit finalist, National Congressional debater, varsity tennis team captain, and number one seed, as well as the chef club leader. After graduation, Angelina plans to attend Cornell University with an intended major in statistical science. Please give Angelina a round of applause. Thank you, Dr. Lawson, for the introduction, and good afternoon to distinguished guests, faculty, alumni, friends, and family. My name is Angelina Chen, and it is an absolute honor to be standing before you all tonight and speaking in honor of Ames High's class of 2023. Before I begin, I want to first and foremost congratulate you all, class of 2023, into making it here today but to thank everyone else for joining us today in celebrating another huge milestone in our lives. Now, I should admit that alongside being a high schooler, I have a bit of the flair for music as well, so I wanted to walk you through an original symphony I'm currently working on titled Ames High, Ames High, Why the Fire Department Loves Us. So we open the piece with an allegro rondo first movement, another term for a quick and rather lively tempo. Picture us coming out of middle school in 2019, having just lived through water bottle flips and fidget spinners as we waited nervously yet excited for the beginnings of high school. As we transitioned, we became the six lits of high school as we experienced a new building, new schedules, and everything in between. So with four years ahead of us, our hopes and heads were high as we looked forward to finally living out our teenage years freely, or so we thought. The second movement of a typical symphony is much slower and oftentimes somber that very well depicts our world as we were halted by an 11 letter word, coronavirus. And while writing this speech, I thought about mentioning the usual laundry lists of hardships that our class and classes before us had to go through, such as the pandemic, online classes, and even worse, ingenuity. <laughs> but realistically speaking, these events affected each and every one of us. Our paths are all different in how we navigated the situation. Yet collectively, I'm sure we sh all share the same excitement and relief to be here, celebrating all that we've accomplished in these past few years. The final movement of a symphony is typically concluded with a fast, vivace, and grand ending. Fast forward to post-corona and senior year, where our main adversity weren't our grades or homework, but rather senioritis. So as the music's building up and a crescendo is developing to the final chord, we take a moment to remember our golden memories and the time we spent together. Whether it's going to the band trip in Florida, watching the boys' basketball team win their state championship, complaining about the questionable music choices at homecoming, having to read La Katrina, <laughs> or stepping foot in a brand new high school, I wouldn't have wanted these past few years any other way. Now, as the symphony concludes and there's a moment of silence before thunderous applause, 
we see not only you, but those here with us today whom we wouldn't be here without. Our parents, our siblings, our loved ones, all those who have played a supporting role in the tapestry of our lives. So I speak for us all when I say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you to my parents, my mom especially, who both have gone above and beyond in supporting both me and my sister. And of course, thank you to my little sister, Laura, who is essentially my other half. You two are both amazing women, and I am so incredibly grateful to be able to call you both family. Additionally, thank you to all my teachers, coaches, and friends who have been nothing but supportive throughout my entire high school career. And most importantly, thank you to the endless hours put in by teachers, administrators, and school staff who devote their lives into bettering us students. Could we get another round of applause for these individuals, please? Now I know this is no symphony and there are no instruments up here, but I wanna take a moment to look around us and to mentally take a snapshot of the moment. Sometimes we get so caught up in the past and future that we truly forget to enjoy the intricacies and the pleasantries of the present. So before I end this speech, I wanna leave you with one last homework assignment, but this time it's not going to be graded and I promise it won't be hard. Because these are the people here with us now, the people that we've spent so many years and made even more memories with, just like we do in Mr. Brecky's class, I want you all to collect three fist bumps from people sitting around you. Ready? Three, two, one, go. To all the late nights, inside jokes, and friendships that have been made, thank you, class of 2023, for giving me a reason to believe that the future is in the best hands possible. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Angelina. Our next speaker, Michelle Osanya, who supported and escorted today by amazing parents Alex and Pauline Osanya. Michelle was active in many activities while attending Ames High. She was the co-leader of Dance Marathon, the drum major of Ames High Marching Band. She was on prom planning committee and participated in NHS, Sacre, Chef, and DECA. Michelle was, get this, offered over $450,000 in scholarship money to 10 remarkable dance institutions. Let's go ahead and give a round of applause for that. Good job, Michelle. She earned the Lamp of Knowledge and Academic Letter for all four years. She participated in Drill Team, received a call back to Cirque de Soleil, placed fourth in the state and top 20 at NYCDA Nationals, and earned the honor of homecoming queen this past fall. After graduation, Michelle plans to attend Fordham University in New York and the Alvin Ailey Dance Company BFA program to major in dance and minor in kinesiology. One more time for Michelle, please. Good job. Hello everyone and good afternoon. We are really here sitting as lab partners, student leaders, teammates, bestest friends, frenemies, proud and loving families, and esteemed faculty. Welcome. Boy, has it been a whirlwind to get here. Our lives looking different from one year to the next, but I could not be more grateful for what our community, our school, and my peers have taught me and honestly wouldn't change a thing. In creating this speech, I started reflecting back on all the ups and downs we have gone through together as a class. And I took a moment, well, longer than a moment, to truly realize the gratitude I have for what we have built together. The passionate bonds, the aspiring atmosphere, and the strive for something more our class has built is something to treasure. 
and was truly instilled in us at a young age. I remember middle school being filled with arm hockey and silent ball champs, a ton of acting skills produced through English class skits that turned into the beautiful theater department we have here today. I remember freshman year being introduced to the incredible marching band and the fun adventures of some super secret event that happened some random night during homecoming week. I remember in our most recent years celebrating the highs of many state titles and records being won or broken, from girls track to boys basketball, from swimming to cheer to soccer, and to boys and girls wrestling. We took our moment in the sun, and we ran with it far. But although we were able to create this environment, don't get me wrong, we had our fair share of challenges. Not only did we go through the hardships of COVID since freshman year, but we had nine different principles in the past seven years. From constant change in routine and leadership within our building, to legislation coming into direct tension with important values in our community, we stood strong. I knew from our very first walkout in middle school on gun control safety that we fight for what we want and what we believe in. And to our most recent one just weeks ago, we have not wavered from that goal. I am proud to say that I am from Ames High, from a school, from a class that can rebuild from any moment of distress and can shine and thrive through adversity. Our class has gone through mountains and valleys together, yet still made it to the other side as one, ready for the next chapter. We were able to use the foundation that our community and school provided to help us grow and build upon and regrow and rebuild every year, setting us up for excellence and greatness decades to come. I honestly cannot wait to see my peers' accomplishments at our 10-year reunion or whenever the high school sweethearts get married, whichever one happens first, I guess. Anyways, recently I have been so inspired by our Instagram page announcing our future plans as a class. For the less tech savvy people in the room, let me dig a little deeper. Every year, a senior takes it upon themselves to post these well-crafted Canva posters on our social media page for Ames High as an opportunity for students to show where they are going and what field they want to pursue. This page just shows a glimpse of the diversity, passion, and curiosity that exudes out of our grade. We have people going everywhere, from Cali to Vermont to Florida, majoring in engineering to business to health sciences. We have people taking a year to find themselves or going right into the workforce. We have anywhere from D1 athletes to aspiring lawyers. The push to truly explore and dream big is being encouraged not only amongst us, but within the community as well. Our amazing teachers, faculty, families, and city provided a base to bloom from, a home base filled with bonds, some lasting our whole lifetime, just in order for us to get to this point. Get to this point where we can look back and be grateful for all the silly, outstanding, unforgettable values Ames High has given us. A point where we can feel comfortable to create the world we want to live in. The point in which we can go anywhere, be anything, and change the world. Inspirational leader Michelle Obama, with an amazing name, by the way, even better initials, wink, speaks out about getting to these points. She states, it's not about being perfect. It's not about where you get yourself in the end. There's power in allowing yourself to be known and heard, in owning your unique story, and using your authentic voice. So I challenge you, my fellow peers, take this chance into your own hands. Take the next steps into your future, knowing your foundation has prepared you for any adversities coming your way. Cherish the special bonds you have made and create even more to last forever. Remember, no matter the change you want to see in the world or the adventures you're ready to go on, you are able to build the best environment and create an incredible world. You have all done it here at Ames, and I am eternally grateful for that. Well, 
what a ride, too fast and too furious. But here's to class of 2023, we made it. Congratulations, I am so extremely proud of you. Let's take on the world, with love, Mo. Thank you, speakers. I would now like to welcome the Ames Community School District Board President, Mrs. Sabrina Shields-Cook, to the stage to congratulate the class of 2023. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Ames Community School District Board of Directors, welcome to the 2023 Ames High School Commencement Ceremony. It is such an honor and privilege for us as board members to be here with you today and celebrate this tremendous accomplishment with all of you. Graduation is a bittersweet experience. You're saying goodbye to the people and places that have played such important roles in your lives while at the same time being excited, if maybe a little uncertain, about what the future will bring. For many of you, high school has been a time filled with friends and memories you will cherish for the rest of your lives. For others, that may not have been your experience, but you made it. Here you are now, ready to embark on a new adventure. Whatever your experience in high school has been, I want all of you to know that it is a big, wide world out there. No matter what path you choose to take next, whether entering the workforce, going to college, joining the military, traveling, or planning another adventure, I know that all of you will find your place and your people. If I could give you one piece of advice, it would be this. Be authentically you. Don't worry about what other people think, because your life isn't theirs, it is yours. To share one of my favorite quotes by Ellen DeGeneres, find out who you are and be that person. That's what your soul was put on this earth to do. Find that truth, live that truth, and everything else will come. To the parents and family members of our graduates, we want to thank you for supporting and cheering on your students both this year and throughout their lives. To our administrators, teachers, and staff, thank you for all your hard work helping our graduates navigate the past four years and create memories along the way. We're so grateful to have you as part of the Ames Community School District. And to our Ames High Class of 2023, you made it. We are so proud of you. Today marks a new adventure for all of you, and we can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations. Thank you, President Shields Cook, for those kind words. I will now turn the time over to Associate Principal Nicole Patton to honor our graduates with distinction. I'd like to take a moment real quick to thank the class of 2023. You guys are amazing people. You're very selfless, and the leadership and legacy that you're leaving at Ames High School will go on and on, and I am forever grateful, as well as with the rest of our staff. I will be announcing the graduates of distinction. These are students who have earned a 3.8 cumulative GPA in their high school career. When I say your name, Please stand, remain standing, and I'm going to ask the audience to reserve your applause till the end when everybody is, when I'm done reading the last name. Thank you. Jason Ahn, Miriam L. Arida, Sarah Al Karashi, Tristan Angus, Aaron Barnes, Ella Bates, Samantha Berg, Sydney Bray, Lucille Brecky, Ireland Buss, Julia Carlett, John Carlisle, Angelina Chen, Lindy Chen, Anthony Colburn, Grant Crespi, Gracie Davis, Elena Deerdorf, Allison Donovan, David Dong, Kristen Eggert, Allison Enyart, Clara Fields, Allison Franzen, Allison Galladay, Ava Gibbons, Nicholas 
Goodman, Kendra Goodwin, Karin Grevstad Nordbrock, Katie Gu, Adrian Guan, Molly Hardacre, Lyra Haskell, Cecilia Hathaway, Lily Hauge, John Higgins, Jared Hudson, Ian Jurgensen, Henry Kellen, Leslie Kim, Piper Kirsch, Delaney Creter, Alexandra Kuhlman Schneider, Catherine Lavrov, David Sunji Lee, Thomas Lemkul, Dakota Lewin, Reagan Livingston, Eliza Lucky, Lucas Allen Luth, Alina Markutsia, Jessica Matulak, Cameron Moon, Joshua Modal, Mia O'Connor Walker, Michelle Osanya, Ikra Rahim, Emily Reed, Owais Saman, Grace Schmidt, Noah Seibert, Dominic Sexton, Alok Shrestha, Logan Simmons, Hayden Sinclair, Isaac Song, Krisha Alexa Santa Maria, Elliot Stenberg, Peyton Stewart, Catherine Strotman, Maddie Schwartz, Sydney Turk, Hannah Van Dyke, Meg Vanderwilt, Samuel Wies, Mia Vogel, Camden Waka, Madeline Wade, Eric Witchers, Adam Winch, Isabel Wolf, Jason Walters, Tyler Zhu, Esma Yavus, and Hunter Zanger. Please give me a, them all a round of applause. You may be seated. All right, it is now time, the time that most of you have been waiting for, the introduction of our graduates. Students' names will be read by teachers that were selected by the class of 2023. We ask that you refrain from excessive cheering in order for each individual student's name to be read. Graduates, you will wait for Mr. Burke to excuse your row to proceed to the stage. We will now begin the introduction of the graduates. Linnea Lynn Abli. Candice Acuff. Jason Sung Hoon. Miriam Alarida, Gervin Jonathan Almazan, Sarah Al Karashi, Omar Kamal Amer. Bennett Mark Anderson. Ilara Renee Andrist.
Tristan Nathaniel Angus. Jolyn Ada Marie Ask. Ater Aguer Ater. Munya Mohammed Awadala. Aaron Marie Barnes. Ava Elizabeth Barnett. Piper May Bartmas. Ella Marie Bates. Sutton Allen Battles. Samantha Drew Beatty. Karim Becic. John Emmett Becker. Braden Kenneth Bielner. Anthony David Bell. Samantha Ling Berg. Stephen Luke Beaver. Emery Grace Blackburn. Jessica Isabel Blitvich. Genevieve May Bodily. Lene Drusilla Borntrager. John Buffard. Sydney Nicole Bray. Lucille Ray Brecky. Come on. Cody Brink. Max Gregory Brockman. Michael Allen Brown. <laughs> Hannah L. Burke. Jared Michael Burke. Ireland Ray Buss. Neftali Aguilar.
Julia Suzanne Carlett. John Thomas Carlisle. Quavion Laquan Chairs. Obed Chavez. Angelina Shun Chen. Lindy J. Chen. Zoe William Chives. Thomas Lee Chinnery. Torin Lee Chinnery. Ty Michael Schott. Dakota Matthew Clodier. Nathan George Collett. Jacob Scott Collins. Andrew James Converse. Ginevra Arwen Cook. Nicholas Allen Clark Courtney. Grant Crespi. Ryan Cole Crooks. Emma Elizabeth Dakin. Jackson Trin Danielson. Gracie Ann Davis. Elena Marie Deerdorf. Yusuf Oner Demirsi. Kual Dang. Christian Carl Noel Domingo. Alicia Nicole Domond. Allison Johanna Donovan. David Dong. Matthew Donovan. Tate Harold Downs. Lauren Piper Drobny. Catherine Carol Durkis. A book, W. Dutt. <laughs> Kristen Danielle Eggert. <laughs> Cynthia Marie Ellis. Ruby Sophia Ellis. Carson Jacob Enfield. 
Allison Nicole Enyart. Latasia Irwin. Kevin Alexander Fernandez. Clara Davis Fields. Carson David Fincham. Ellen Jean Fogelsong. Isaac Anthony Fonseca. Helen Serena Forbes. Ah, uh, sorry. Kendo Fortu. Allison Maureen Franson. Theodore Nicholas Fuse. Mia Anais Fusilier. Austin Michael Gabrielson. Allison Willow Jane Galladay. Tanya Mich Michelle Garcia. Lincoln Elizabeth Garten. Ava Marie Gibbons. Trini Corey Gonzalez. Nicholas Matthew Goodman. Kendra Helene Goodwin. Linda Louise Green. Louise, no, Louise, I said it right. Karen Ann Grevstadt Nordbrock. Katie Wajay Gu. Adrian Tapai Guan. Austin Hamid James Habhab. Xander Anthony Hamilton. Molly Eden Hardacre. <laughs> Everett Barry Hargrove. Damon James Harvey. Lyra Violet Haskell. Alexandra K. Hassel. Cecilia Jo Hathaway. David Michael Hauber. Lily May Haugi. <laughs> Huck James Hegerston. <laughs> Caleb Matthew Helgerston. <laughs> Thorin Cheyenne Steingerter Henderson. <laughs> A 
Anthony Hernandez. Tomas Enrique Hernandez Mauen. John David Higgins. Isaac Joel Heights. JC Joy Marie Hobbs. Michael Bay Huang. Keiko Min Huseman. Ronald Anakin Hutchinson. Jared Michael Hudson. Amelia Estela Heibel. Kanetta Anila James. Grant Robert Jesse. Gracie Ann Johannes. Connor Andrew Johnson. Elena Michelle Johnson. Landon Leroy Johnson. Hunter James Jones. Thank you. Liam James Jones. Ian Vale Jurgensen. Malina Kafura. Come out. <laughs> Just ask. Henry Dan Don? Don? I can't see it, sorry. Kellen. <laughs> Frank Keller. Harvey Wyatt Kenimer. <laughs> Leslie Hayoung Kim. <laughs> Jaden Dean Kynert. <laughs> Piper Shirley Kirsch. Cyrus J. Knight. <laughs> Sophia Renee Knoll. <laughs> Monica Lynn Cook Mosley. Thank you. Delaney Aaron Kreider. Alice Willow Crofta. <laughs> Alexandra Josephine Kuhlman Schneider. <laughs> Darren Thomas Lampley. <laughs> Stevie Ann Larson. Catherine Denise Lavrov. Adam Abraham Lee. Woo! Shovel. 
Jessica Sojung Lee. David Sung Jae Lee. <laughs> Thomas Michael Lemkul. John Leon Valderabano. Dakota Joy Lewin. Aaron Owen Link, Jr. Reagan Lee Livingston. Eliza Ann Leckie. Natalie Talora Long. Austin Patrick Loomis. Lucas Allen Ukelo Luth. <laughs> Lily Grace Lepardis. Elizabeth Ray Lynch. Cygnus Marie McIntosh. Mazan Umer Mullock. Alina Christina Markutsaya. See ya. Amari Martin. Jessica Jordan Matulak. Grace Ann McCunn. Jahir Alexis Mercado Crespo. Ule Mwanu. Logan Reed Miller. Sheraldi Marie Miranda Padilla. Easton Randall Middlestadt. Juan Sebastian Molina. Cameron Christine Moon. Abigail Rosanna Morrison. Grace Emma Rebecca Morrison. Akaya J. Mosley. Joshua Michael Modal. Diana Wynn. B. Wynn. Alicia Jade Nicholas. Aiden Jeffrey Nye. Mia Samantha O'Connor Walker. Elizabeth Grace O'Neill. Luke Christopher O'Neill. Ch 
Chase Robert Etker. Michelle Alma Okoth Osanya. Casey Evan Overstreet. Naomi Elizabeth Pena. Viviana Talia Perez. Aaron Ian Tomaya Parati. Ada Luisa Snow Perry. Shelby Corinne Peterson. Eve Claire Perrin. Zach Diego Dantas Pinto. Taya Renee Papian. Lauren Rachel Powers. Caden John Preston. Carson Dean Prom. Ikra Nasir Rahim. Ava Eileen Reason. Emily Dale Reed. Connor William Reed. Eric Rivera Pijot. Maddie Rayanne Rodriguez. Christabel Abby Ralston. Nicole K. Ross. Zyra Yvette Ross. Tanner J. Ryan. Zane Faras Salty. Owais Ahmad Saman. Stuart Gray Satterwhite. Dallas Kinnick Souser. Cameron Elizabeth Schmally. Grace Anel Schmidt. Elias Schmitz Esser. Nicholas Vaughn Schoenrock. Micah Jacob Schumacher. Christian Andres Seaman. Gabriel Richard Seaman. I can't. Noah Brian Seibert. (laughs) 
Peyton Allen Seja. Dominic Clark Sexton. Alok Shrestha. Logan Brian Simmons. Judd Wayne Simpson. Isis Diamond Marie Sims. Hayden Matthew Sinclair. Phoenix Sidio. Catalina Solis. Krisha Alexa Kunan on Santa Maria. Logan Philip Stacy Bates. Leah Elizabeth Stagg. Macy Jane Starnes. Stone Steenhook. Elijah David Stenberg. Elliot Laverne Stenberg. Peyton Clara Stewart. Sarah Elizabeth Stott. <laughs> Ashley Emin Strabala. <laughs> Catherine Joe Strotman. <laughs> Haley Marie Stupp. Charlotte Marie Susky. Mia Suzuki. Alyssa Marie Marcolini Swanson. Maddie Lee Schwartz. Celeste Helena Simons. <laughs> Nyasia Nicole Taylor. <laughs> Artavia Valencia Thomas. <laughs> Ikaika Sean Thomas. Grant Virgil Tro. <laughs> Chloe Nevea Tucker. <laughs> Sydney Ray Turk. <laughs> Robert George Uthi. Isaiah Jose Nemorio Valderabano. <laughs> Hannah K. Van Dyke. <laughs> Meg Lauren Vanderwilt. <laughs> Samuel Anthony Viss. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Beach ball. Morgan Matea Vos. <laughs> Mia Ray Vogel. Brandon Lewis Vorse. Camden Bradley Waka. Madeline Elizabeth Wade. Damian Riley Wadsley. Carmen Ray Went. Eric Matthew Wickers. We're watching him. Okay, Eric. <laughs> All right. Adam Heinrich Winch. James McKenzie Wilhite. Jonathan Spencer Williams. Savannah Marie Williams. Camden Blaine Windelow. Ashlyn Michael Wingert. Isabel Grace Wolf. <laughs> Jason Dennis Walters. <laughs> Joel Yak. <laughs> Chen Yang. Esma Harun Yavuz. Akir Yor. Annie Yu. Awesome. Oscar Daniel Zavala Gonzalez. Hunter Magus Zenger. K.Z. Zamolik. Let's give it up for the class of 2023 one more time. I will now turn the time over to Associate Principal Anthony Yar for presentation of the class of 2023. Class of 2023, please stand. Dr. Lawson, members of the Board of Education, ladies and gentlemen, and honored guests, on behalf of the Ames High School staff and administration, I'm proud to announce that these students have completed the requirements of the State of Iowa Department of Education and the Ames Community School District. 
I am therefore pleased and honored to present to you the Class of 2023. At this time, I would like to have Jason Ahn and Adrian Guan, this year's Student Council co-presidents, to come forward and lead their class in the changing of the tassels. Following the changing of the tassels, the Ames High Band will play the school loyalty song in honor of cl the class of 2023. After completion of the school song, anyone who wishes may join the graduates on the floor. Thank you, and again, congratulations, graduates. First of all, thank you so much, Ames High, for the wonderful memories from the past years. It was our pleasure to serve you as a Student Council co-presidents. As we are heading into a fresh start in our lives, we would like to encourage one important thing. Whatever you do in the next chapter of your life, always give your 100%. Unless you're donating blood. <laughs> Class of 2023, we will now change our tassels from the right to the left sides of our caps. Congrats, Ames High! <laughs> Graduates, don't forget your diplomas. Diplomas are in the right corner. Do not forget your diploma before you leave. Graduates, grab your diploma. Congratulations. Congratulations. 